It's me, Bree Reads! Hi friends, it's me, Bree. Today, let's read a story together, make a paper boat, and play sink or float. Today's story is The Incredible Ship of Captain Skip. My friends, there's an extra fun element to this book. We're going to learn how to make a paper boat, and then we'll use it as we read along and join Captain Skip's journey. The Incredible Ship of Captain Skip by Alicia Acosta and Cecilia Moreno. Skip used to live in the desert, but she was tired of all the dust and sand. Aww. One day, she decided to leave home in search of adventure on the seven seas. But before embarking on her journey, Skip needed a ship. She found an old vessel with a mast so high it nearly touched the sky. Skip put on her white captain's shirt. Now she had her ship, but there was still something missing. I need a crew! Will you join me on this voyage? We will! We will, Captain! Woohoo! Skip and her crew worked hard to prepare for their perilous adventure. Finally, the incredible ship of Captain Skip was ready to sail. Way anchor! Find the instructions at the beginning of the book and build your own paper ship. Balance your ship on your fingertips and sail along with us. Captain Skip and her crew began their journey. They traveled far until they reached the Yellow Sea near China. The waters there were very beautiful, but they were known to be treacherous. As they threaded their way through the islands, an enormous tidal wave dashed the ship against some rocks and cracked the stern. Tear off the back part of your paper ship! Brave Captain Skip examined the damage and decided that the ship was still seaworthy. Shall we press on? she asked. We shall, Captain! The incredible ship of Captain Skip unfurled its sails, and they set off again. They sailed past the islands of Japan until they reached the Sulu Sea. This is a sea near the Philippines, known for its rough and dangerous waters. Suddenly, the tentacles of a giant octopus rose from beneath the waves and tried to sink the ship. 
Captain Skip held fast to the helm, and they sailed away as quickly as they could. The incredible ship of Captain Skip managed to escape, but the octopus's strong tentacles had snapped the prow clean off. Fearless Captain Skip examined the damage and made what repairs she could. She decided that the ship was still seaworthy. Shall we press on? She asked. We shall, Captain. Once more, the incredible ship of Captain Skip sailed on. They sailed for many days, past whales and dolphins and flying fish, until they reached the edge of the Kara Sea near Siberia. It is actually so cold there, the hairs in your nose freeze. As they floated among the icebergs, enormous black clouds gathered. Storm! cried Captain Skip. Heavy rain began to fall, and suddenly a powerful bolt of lightning hit the mast of Captain Skip's incredible ship and split it right down the middle. Tear off the top part of your paper ship. Captain Skip knew, just as everyone does, that a ship cannot sail without a mast. With a heart full of sadness, she yelled, "Abandon ship!" Captain Skip and her crew were safe on the lifeboats, but their incredible ship sank to the bottom of the sea. Glub, 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 glub. Years passed, and rumors began to spread in portside taverns. Sailors and pirates shared the legend of a great treasure hidden inside Captain Skip's incredible ship, one that would make whoever found it very rich. Many set out in search of this treasure. They searched and searched, but when they found the ship, there were no gold coins or glittering jewels or precious stones inside. Instead, they discovered a different kind of treasure. For inside the ship, they came upon the white shirt of Captain Skip. Unfold your torn paper ship to reveal Captain Skip's shirt. The end. Well, that was fun. All that was left was Captain Skip's shirt. Did you end up with a white T-shirt too? Now, friends, let's play a game. Let's play sink or float. Will you help me guess? Let's guess which items will sink to the bottom of the pool, and which ones will float on top. Let's play. How about a beach ball? Will it sink or float? What do you think? <gasps> Let's see. Three, two, one. <gasps> it floats. Now let's try utensils: a fork, spoon, and knife. Will they sink or float? Let's count down. Three, two, one. Sunk. All the way to the bottom. Now let's try these lays. Will they sink or float? One, two, three. <gasps> they float. What do you think about this plastic cup? It's shaped like an ice cream cone and empty on the inside. Will it sink or float? One, two, three. <gasps> it floats.
Now, let's try these beaded necklaces. Do you think they'll sink or float? One, two, three. Oh! They float! Although a little lower than the other necklaces. These bubbles would float, but how about the bottle? Will it sink or float? What do you think? One, two, three! <gasps> it floats! This is a balloon weight. Will it sink or float? One, two, three. It sinks! Let's try this fuzzy pen. Do you think it'll sink or float? One, two, three. Woo! This one floats. How about this lollipop? Will it sink or float? One, two, three. Down it goes. This one sinks. Let's try this bottle of slime. Will it sink or float? Do you have a guess? Hmm. One, two, three. Oh, it popped back up. It floats. Next is this lock. Will this sink or float? One, two, three. Kerplunk! It sinks. How about these pool noodles? Sink or float? One, two, three. <laughs> they float. Let's try this rubber hammer. Will it sink or float? One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> this one sinks. Last but not least, the watermelon. Will it sink or float? What do you think? I don't know, it's pretty heavy. One, two, three, let's see. Splash! <gasps> Look! It's floating! <laughs> Thank you for reading, making, and playing with me today, friends. Did you make a paper boat too? Maybe you even tried to sink or float. If you did, I want to see. You can find and tag me on Instagram to show me. And please subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun. See you next time.